What's up YouTube? How's it going? Everything is tech here and in this video I will show you how to set up your HD PVR to your Xbox 360 and play in HD and record in HD from your HD TV using a Windows computer. Now I did make an earlier version which really was only for the Mac platform but the steps are really similar. All that uh, you're going to be changing is you're only going to be using a Windows computer and you're going to be using different software and that's pretty much what what you really only have to do so before we get started I'm going to just show you how to set this baby up and get recording and playing so first thing is you're going to need your HD PVR of course you need your HD TV what I'm using is a Toshiba it's a 40E200U that's a model number and I'll link to that in the description bar if you really want to know my TV and then you're going to be needing your Xbox 360 now, many people actually do wonder, uh, with the, will this method work with your new Xbox? I definitely do think it will. I've had a lot of people try it. I also tried it uh, on my Xbox, on my friend's Xbox, uh, which is the new Xbox, and it worked fine. So I don't think you'd have a problem if you're using a new, ver a new Xbox or old one. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the old one, so it works perfectly fine. So with your Xbox, you're going to need all the cables that came with your Xbox, including the power cable and the cables that look like this. Those are the component cables. Uh, once you have those, you're also going to need your PVR. And you're going to need to have um, all the cables that came with your PVR, including the uh, component monster cables that look just like this. And if you actually lost these set of cables, you should uh, uh, message me or comment this video, and I'll show and I'll tell you how you can actually get another pair of these cables. But you definitely do have to pay for that, so make sure you don't lose them. And you're also gonna need the USB connection to your PVR. Now mine is actually a different color. Uh, your, the one you usually get with your PVR is a white. Uh, I use a black one just because this this one is actually uh, longer. And I actually uh, do try to make some videos with my PVR with a uh, overview, a voice overview, and stuff like that. So I definitely need a longer USB cable. So once you have all those uh, cables, uh, then just keep watching. So to get started, you first want to go behind your Xbox 360. Make sure the power cable is in, and then you want to take this cable. Uh, your Xbox component cable and make sure this is on HDTV uh, this little thing over here and then plug that in right over here to your Xbox and next what you're going to need to do is take the same cable uh, the end that you plugged into your Xbox you want to take the other end of that cable and these uh, and the other end looks just like this and then you're going to need to go to your HD PVR turn it to the back make sure the cable uh, is in for your power and you want to take the Xbox component cables and you want to take these three cables first these three cables the green blue and red and plug them in into the in uh, put of the HDP VR the in is over, I'm going to zoom in it's right over here in the bottom I want to plug the green cable in the green blue in the blue and the red in the red once those three cables are in you want to take the other split end of the cable, they have a red, white, and yellow. You want to take only the white and red cables and plug them into these two slots right over here. So the white and this white, and then the red and the red. So these cables, uh, pretty much what you're going to be doing so far is your Xbox. Xbox will stream its gameplay and video into your PVR. And then what we're going to be doing is connect the other set of component cables. Uh, into the output of your PVR and then connect that to your HDTV so you'll be recording and playing in HD. Next you want to take the monster component cables that came with your PVR that look just like this and then you're going to be working your way onto the PVR output so take the same green, blue and red cables and plug them into the output of the PVR so make sure all the cables are in tightly. Okay. And then you want to take the kind of other two cables on your monster cables and plug the white in the white and the red in the red. And make sure they are all in tightly. Next what you want to do is take the other end of the component cables that you connected in your PVR. And now you have to go behind your Xbox or your TV rather. And you gotta look for your component inputs. Now mine are just I only have two sets or one set of component inputs, and they're over here. And all you have to do is just uh, connect your component cables into your TV inputs. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect the green cable and the green cable. Blue and the blue cable input, rather. 
Thank you, Red. And the red, which is in the bottom over there. And then the white and the white. And then the red and the red. Now, for the final step of connecting any more cables, just take the USB connection and plug this end into your PVR. And also try to place your PVR in a comfortable place where it kind of gets out of the way because. I mean, you know, the PVR does take a lot of cables, so, you know, you do, you do not want your place or your room or wherever you're actually connecting your PVR to look like kind of a mess, but that's just how I think, so, you know, it's a, that's just optional. But after you connect that part of the USB cable, take this part, the actual USB, and connect it right into your Windows computer, like so. I'm just looking for the USB input, and there we go, I got it in. So, after you're done connecting your USB cable, go ahead and turn your PVR and Xbox on, and uh, eventually the picture will come up on your TV. And I, as you can probably see, I already have the picture on my TV. But now you have to do the final step of this whole process, and you have to pretty much just install the actual software on your Windows computer, and go ahead and you're ready to record. But anyways, if you want, you can also play, uh, but you also will have to have your PVR on uh, while you play with the process. So anyways, what you're going to need to do is first uh, go ahead and install the software. Now, I know for a fact the software is compatible with Windows XP and Windows 7, uh, not Windows 7, Windows Vista 32-bit. So those are the software, uh, the operating systems this is compatible with. Now, uh, just if you don't know, if you want to make sure before you actually go ahead and purchase your PVR, if you have questions on uh, the software being compatible on Windows Vista 64-bit and Windows 7, you might want to message me or comment because I do have actually a Windows 7 desktop which uses 64-bit. So I'll definitely check that out and test the software out if it comes to that. So anyways, uh, once you have the software installed, uh, you do want to connect your uh, PVR USB connection if you already haven't and turn on your Xbox. So once you've done that, go ahead and open the software up. I'm going to kind of just move my camera in closely and zoom in. And you want to go to the Tool Media Extreme. That's what the icon is. Uh, right over there. And then you get a few options. The first one or whatever one that you get, it's record video. Go ahead and click on that. And eventually it starts up. And, uh, I don't know, eventually it does come up. But if, uh, yeah, there we go. It's coming up. And voila. This is, uh, you already have your footage on your, uh, on your computer. Now, if you actually did not get the footage, uh, or anything of that sort on your computer so far, what you want to go, uh, what you want, where you probably want to go is, uh, go to the source panel over here. And you want to make sure your PVR is selected. And then your video input would be, I'm just going to zoom in even a little more. Your P, uh, your video input should be the composite, your YRB, YRB input or option. And I actually just accidentally changed it. But it should be your YR, whatever, it's a YR PVPB option. So make sure that uh, that is selected. Then for your audio input, since we use the back, i zoom out. Since we use the uh, rear port, you want to make sure the RCA back is selected. And then for your PC audio mode, you can mode you can have 5.1 channels, which is uh, the recommended one if you're going to be playing back or if your computer actually has a, a 5.1 uh, setup of speakers. Or you can use two channel stereos, which is uh, two speakers if that's, not, if that's what your computer uses. And there you go. Just click that. For format settings, you're just, I don't even think you really need to worry about that. But if you want to change the quality for the best quality, you'd want to make sure this is uh, maxed out. And for bit rate, I'd probably go with constant bit rate. Because uh, then, you know, your, the bit rate will stay on one actual bit rate. Boost analog audio, you can boost your audio if your audio is a little too low. And that's pretty much really the only thing you have to worry about. Unless you want to change your audio AC, AC3 and AC. Those are just audio encoders. It's just your uh, your opinion on whatever you want to use. I stick with AAC3. And just once you're done with that, you're good to go. You're ready to play and record on your PVR. So, that's, thanks for watching. Have a great day and hope this video helped. Peace.